Welcome, this is Noah's Ark Nursery. I am Karina, I am your mommy. Welcome if this is your first time, welcome if you're coming back, welcome back. Welcome to the Ark today, guys. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. Hope you have a great day today, that you all are having a great week thus far and that you all are well. Okay, if this is your first time joining us, we do daily prayer time here at Noah's Ark Nursery. So if you ever have any prayer requests, please feel free to add it to our comment board and we will pray over it with you. We do have a prayer request to add. Um, Bubby and Rue 92 has requested prayer for Adam James. Adam has a fungal infection in his left toe that he might have to have emergency surgery for and it could turn into gangrene. But he is very afraid of surgeons. So we need to pray for him. Um, the one surgeon he doesn't have to be afraid of is God. And he, he can take care of his toe. So we're going to pray for complete healing. Um, if he does have to have surgery, we're going to pray that, that God takes the fear away. Um, of him so now what do I do with this well put your socks on here mom Which one here's your socks? here's your this? socks yep but they're still coming out of there well put your socks and your shoe on that'll help where's my shoe right there I don't want the dog hair to get off yeah I'll get Jeremiah oh. off hold on guys I'll be right back all right, guys, this all seems to happen yeah. right at video and prayer time. It all seems to happen that way. And now Jeremiah's parking because there's somebody out there, a, a truck out of the neighbor's house, a little bit down the road. And, can see it, and so he's going to park in the truck. Um, put this on now? Yes, put that on. And then change your other sock and change your other sock too, Mom. Here's a lock that. Here, where's your other sock? Yeah, out. take that one. Where's the other sock at? I didn't get an other sock. Hold on, guys. I'll be back. Jeremiah, Grandmom does not want you back up there. Please. I love you. Anyway. And so that is the only prayer request we have to add. That's it. Stay that way. That's the only prayer request we have to add. Jeremiah is now up with Mom. Um. So anyway. We got mom's feet all squared away. We got her socks on. She was back on. So now we can go to Lord in prayer. Let's go to Lord in prayer. Can Shall I we? put her underneath this? Yes, go ahead and put her underneath that. She is gracing me. Dear yes. Lord, honey, please. We don't want anybody. This is this is a sight to see. Oh, She's got gracing me and Jeremiah out there on that chair with her. What's wrong? Here, I'll show you. There you go, guys. Right there. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And so, anyway, guys, we are going to. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. We come before you to praise you and to thank you for who you are. We thank you that you are our way maker, our miracle worker, our promise keeper, our light in the darkness. That you are everything to us, Father. That you are so gracious. You are so merciful. You are so compassionate to us. And that you just, you love us so much. And we just thank you for that. And we just pray, Father. I just pray first of all for Which Adam. Which ones do I talk? James. This, this and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine, Mom. Any I, one of them? Yes, that's fine. You can use one of them. You can use them, Mom. They're your tissues. You can use them. So, and Father, I do pray for Adam today. I am asking you, Father, that you will touch and heal his toe. The Father, as he has this fungal infection in his left toe, I just pray, Father God, that you'll be with him, that you will touch and heal him, that he will not need emergency surgery, but that you will touch and heal this fungal infection. You will take it away so it will not go into gangrene, that it will not cause any problems, that you will just touch and heal him today from the top of his head to the very tippy, tippy soles of his feet, including his toes. One? You're talking mm -hmm. to other ones. Can yes, I use yes, this? yes. And Father, we do pray now that you will just be with I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will also be with all those who are affected by Milton and Aline today. I am asking you to help them clean up as they are continuing to clean up. I just pray that they will continue to be able to clean up, that you will continue to restore them, that you will continue to send angels to help them as they rebuild and as they get their lives back in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray that you will just be with each and every person whose family member We've lost a family member in in Milton and Aline. I just pray that you will just comfort them. Give them your peace that that's us understanding. And Father, we are also praying now that you will also um, be with 
everyone else that has lost loved ones. Father, I do pray for Tanya and her family as they've lost Michael, for for, for Anne Marie and her family as they've lost her mother, for Stacy and her family as they've lost her mother, for Dee and her family as they've lost a loved one, for just recently, for for um, Heidi and her family as they've lost a loved one to cancer, for Karen and the boys as they've lost Donnie, for Linda and her family as they have lost Dawn, for Shannon and her family as they've lost her mother-in-law and her grandmother, for Patricia and her family as they have lost her mother, or, or as they've lost their, 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 her baby Sadie, in Jesus' name, I just ask you to give them all your peace that path us understanding. I pray that you will just give them your comfort and you will be the God of all comfort for them in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray now that you will just be with each and every person on hospice today. I especially think of Christine's mother. I am asking you to be with her. She is on hospice for and state Alzheimer's. I just pray that you will just be with her, that you will give her your peace, the path of understanding. You will take anything she has away. Give Christine and her family the peace, the path of understanding. And Father, I do pray that when it is her time to transition, that you will give her a peaceful transition. And Jesus, you will come for her yourself. In Jesus' name, I am asking you this in your name. And Father, we do pray now for all those who have cancer. I think of all those that have cancer. I am praying, first of all, that I am praying for Lynn, for Ken, for Uncle Billy, for Susie's Aunt Sally, for Lorraine, for Susan, for anyone else praying this prayer with me that has cancer. I am asking you, first Father, to take any pain that they might have away. Just, just take the pain, any pain, any side effects from chemotherapy or radiation they might have. If they are on chemotherapy and radiation, I pray that it will work that, Father, that they will know no side effects, but that that chemo and radiation will be working, that it will be shrinking the cancer, taking the cancer out of his bot their body, killing the cancer cells, that is, is intended to do. And, Father, we do pray that you will give them good days today, that you will give them, every single one of them, a good day today, that they will not know pain, they will not know sickness, but that they will know only, only energy and, and feeling good, not not feeling bad at all i just pray that you'll be with them and father i do pray that you will also be with my sweet forever sister and forever best friend susie today i am asking you to take care of her niece touch and heal her knees today take every bit of pain away i pray in jesus name and father we are also praying for big cliff's knees i am asking you to, to, to restore his knee, their knees father in the name of jesus to take any pain that that big clips has away and father we do pray also for Beatrice's husband jim today i am praying that his he has knee problems as well that he is waiting for surgery i just pray that you will bring this surgery about quickly as he is Her surgery has been sure that, that father that be something that i can put <clears throat> is this okay for me to use yeah if it's okay and father i do pray that you will also be with him as he is in pain i just pray that you will take that pain away till surgery that he will not have any pain even after surgery in jesus name but that you will take his pain pain completely away in Jesus' name. And Father, we do ask for Susie's husband, Jim. I pray for Susie's husband, Jim, for his blood pressure. I pray, Father God, that you'll be with his with him. I pray that you will bring his blood pressure down to a perfect 120 over 80 and that he will just not have any blood pressure spikes. And Father, we do pray for Shauna today. I am asking you to bring her anemia numbers from low to normal. In Jesus' name, just touch and heal her from the anemia. And Father, we are asking you also for Amber today. I am asking you, as she has seizures, I just pray that that she will not know any seizures. But that seizure will not come on in Jesus' name because you will not allow it. And that, Father God, that that there will be no seizures, that that you will just touch and heal her. And, Father, I do pray that you will be with me, with Megan today. We are praying the blood of Christ over Megan today, and I am asking you to, to protect her from all wickedness, from all evil, from all harm today in Jesus' name. And, Father, we do pray that you will just also protect the little Evelyn today. Father, we do not know if somebody is trying to hurt little Evelyn but today, but you do. So, Father, I just pray the blood of Christ over my little Evelyn today. I am asking you to wrap her in your loving arms. Put your army of angels around her. Father, may she have no wickedness, no evil, no harm befall her today. Father, I do pray for that. For if, if somebody's trying to harm her today, I pray that you will stop them from harming her, that they will not be able to harm this little girl today, that you will just protect her Tell that person, no, not today. You don't get to harm little Evelyn today. We are asking you to protect her. Father, protect her. I know I keep saying this, but I'm asking you to protect her. Because I just pray for her. I just I just pray that you will just protect her. And that you will be with her. I pray, Father God, for those around her 
who are trying to protect her. I pray that they will be able to protect her from this person in Jesus' name. And Father, I do pray that you will also be with, with others with fibromyalgia and lupus today. I am asking you for Selena, for Alice, for Deidre, for Becca, for anyone else that is fibromyalgia or lupus today. I am asking you to, to just touch and heal them from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet. Take any pain, any soreness, any sickness today that they may be able to do what they need to do today. Have a pain-free day in Jesus' name and a flare-up-free day. And Father, I do pray also that you will also be with Anne Marie and Allie today as they have chronic fatigue and muscle pain. I pray that they will have a flare-up-free day today. That Father, that as Allie had a flare-up over the weekend, I just pray that you will take that away, that you will just take all that, that you will just take and that there will be no residual effects, but that you will take and give her your strength and your energy today with no muscle pain. And for Anne Marie, I pray the same thing, that she will have your strength, your energy with no muscle pain today. In Jesus' name. And Father, I am also asking you now that you will also be with, with Noah today. Father, he has had so many problems with his neck, so many problems with his shoulders and his headaches. I just pray, Father God, that you know what's going on. You are the great physician, so I pray that you will just touch and heal him. We are praying for a complete healing for Noah today, in Jesus' name, that he will not be in any pain today, that you will repair whatever damage is there. Whatever is there, you will take care of it today, in Jesus' name. And Father, we are asking you that you will be with him as he is looking to go to a new doctor, a new pain management specialist. I just pray that insurance will not stand in the way but that he will be able to get into this new pain management doctor in a very quick and timely manner, that they will, that this doctor, you will give this doctor the wisdom and the discernment to know exactly what to do to help Noah with his pain, as Noah has suffered so long. And I just pray that you will just take and touch and heal this pain and take it away, repair the damage that's there so he has no more pain. And Father, we do pray for AD and strawberry milk today as they are in school. I pray that you will just walk through their school years with them. You will bless their school years, that you will open up doors that they never thought is possible. In Jesus name for this year and father for AD I do pray that as she is looking at graduation in May of 2025 that as she has to have her internship done I just pray that you will give her that internship that right internship and that, that internship will lead to a permanent job with great pay and great benefits when she gets out of school in Jesus name and father we do pray that you will also be with I am praying father God that you will be with Jabo Gaming Legal Plushes Church today I am asking you as they are looking for a new building I pray that you will show them that right building, that building that they can grow into, that in a community that they're much needed, that your shining light is much needed. I just pray, Father, that as a result of them coming to that community, that many will come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior, but that you will give them that building with no rent, no mortgage, that you will make a way where there seems to be absolutely no way for them to have it free and clear so that they can use their resources to bless the community around them. And Father, we do pray in Jesus' name that you will just be with I am asking you to be with Kira today. We are asking you to be with Kira as she is looking at you to build her faith. I pray that you will <coughs> that you will build her faith, that you will continue to help her see the shining light that she, she has in you, the hope that she has in you. And Father, I do pray that she will also be a blessing to others as a result of her faith being built and her hope in you being built and your tr her trust in you being built that she will be a blessing to others as a result and father we do pray for laura's family member today i am asking for laura's family member as they are looking to go back on the mission field i am asking you to touch and heal their her family member from the top of their heads to the soles of their feet and that they will be that you will open up the right door the right mission field that they may be able to go that you will make a way where there seems to be absolutely no way that they may be able to go and that you will even now begin to work on the hearts of the people that they will be ministering to that they will come to know you as their personal lord and savior and growing you as a result of this ministry being present in their in their village in their community and father i do pray that you will also be with laura as she is at work I just pray as she is in a new job, I just pray that she will continue to learn and grow and that she will give her your peace that passes so understanding as a result. And Father, we do pray for Tammy, my love, today. I am asking you, Father God, as she went for her eye shots yesterday, that she has no side effects today. In Jesus' name, that, that her eyes are good, that they're not itchy, not watery, nothing, but that everything is fine with them. And if she does have any side effects, please make them not so long that they would just go away. In Jesus' name, and Father, we do pray that you will be with her, that you will break down every doll with Door, that you will break down every wall at work that she might have a smooth time of it and father we do pray for tammy's dad as he is looking to sell his old place i just pray that as he looks to sell i just 
is 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 mobile home and his park i just pray that you will just give him a right buyer that you will send him that right buyer quickly that that right buyer will offer more than is off in the market for and that he will not have to pay another lot rent another december yearly lot rent as a result in jesus name and father we do pray that you will just be with selena today i pray that you will continue to work on her eyes continue to take away any blurry vision that she might have today in jesus name continue to be with her we pray and we pray father god that you will also be with patricia today i am asking you to take away any <clears throat> any exhaustion that she has today in jesus name and i am asking you to be with her today i am asking you to give her your strength and your energy today and i am asking you father that you will just <clears throat> be with her as she is waiting for a new puppy i just pray that you will send that right donor along that that right donor will 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 be able to get that puppy for her in jesus name and father i do pray for her other unspoken request i pray father god that you'll be with that unspoken request i pray father god that you will just take take and meet that need just father god answer that request show her even the little things that you're doing in jesus name and father i do pray for little jade lynn today i am asking you for her I am praying that she will continue to develop normally, that she will continue to gain the weight that she needs to gain, that she will continue to develop her kidneys, that her brain will develop, that her heart will develop, that her lungs will develop, that everything will develop the way that it is supposed to in Jesus' name. And that Father, on December 24th, when she was supposed to be born, that she will be going home with her family to celebrate her very first Christmas. What a great Christmas present that would be for that family. And Father, I do pray for that family. I pray that right now, you will give them your peace of faith so understanding. Give her parents the wisdom and the discernment that they need. Give the doctors the wisdom and the discernment that they need to be able to help her. But Father, most importantly, as you are fighting for her, we pray that you will continue to fight for her in every way. In Jesus' name. And Father, we do pray for Dee Dee today. I am asking you to give her her appetite back. I am asking you to just send the right kidney donor along for her in Jesus' name. That she will be able to get a new kidney, a perfect match, that she will have no complications and that she will have a nice new kidney soon in jesus name and father i do pray that you will also be with casey's son colin today i am asking you father god that is as he is as he has walked away from you that you just can that you will go to him holy spirit and that you will continue as we know you have been that you will continue to to work on his heart that you will continue to draw him back to you and father that he will look at you and he will see you as a loving father with your arms open wide just as the prodigal son came back to his father and he has arms open wide you will do the same thing for colin and father i do pray that he will come back to you he will rededicate his life to you he will begin to be obedient and serve you once more in jesus name and father we're asking you that you will just be with Casey today, that she will continue to see those little things, that you will continue to show her even the little ways that you're working on Colin today, that you will continue to show her that so that she can have that peace in her heart, knowing the peace of Pethos understanding, knowing that, that you are taking care of Colin and that you are working on his heart. Father, I do pray now also for Becca from my Facebook group. I pray that you will just meet each and every need that they have, even if it's financial, we do not know what her prayer request is, so I pray for that unspoken request. I pray that you will meet that need according to your will and your riches and glory today. In Jesus' name, and Father, I do pray also for Aaron today. I am asking you to touch and heal her today. I am asking you to take away any any headaches, any neck pain, any hernia pain. Just take it all away today. In Jesus' name, give her a good day with no pain today. And Father, I do pray for Shanetta as she is... Now on her antibiotics, I just pray that you'll be with her, that this antibiotics will work. I pray, Father God, that you will take all that pain away in her mouth, that she will be able to begin to eat something other than, than the soups that her mom is making for her. Father, I just pray that you will take that pain away. Take that infection out of her body in Jesus' name. May the antibiotic begin to work and begin to work quickly for her in Jesus' name. And Father, we are asking you now that you will also be with each and every one of us with diabetes today. I am praying that you will just be with these, with Keith, with Penny, with Jim, with Jeff, with Colleen, with Lauren, or with Colleen, with Paul, with Sonia, with Wanda, with me, with Karen, with anyone else that has diabetes today. I am praying that you will just bring our blood sugars down into submission that our blood sugars will be normal today that father whatever is going on and around us whatever is going on in our bodies our blood sugars will still be normal because you're going to keep them normal for us in jesus name and you're going to bless us with normal blood sugars today we just thank you for that and we just pray lord now that you will also be with i am praying that you will just be with 
to all of us that are having issues with our mental illnesses today. Father, whoever, whatever we're struggling with, Father, whether it be with our DID, with schizophrenia, with bipolar, with PTSD, with depression, with worry, with fear, with anxiety, with with OCD, with ADHD, with ADD, with Asperger's syndrome, with anything that I did not mention, but is being prayed for on the other side of the screen, I am agreeing with them as well. Father, whoever is struggling, whatever they're struggling with, I am praying for them. I am praying for Natalie, for Alice, for Susie, for Christine, for for Anne, for Ann K, for Anne Marie, for Jessica, for Travis, for Stephanie, for David, for, for Kiki Ann, for Deborah, for Donna, for Dorothy, for Gina, for for Mandy, for Colleen, for Lauren, for John, for for me, for Heidi, for anyone else that wants to be prayed for, wants to be included in this prayer, I am including them in this prayer as well. In Jesus' name and Father, I am asking you now that you'll be with each and every one of us. That even if what we're, whatever we're struggling with today, I just pray that you'll be with us. I just pray that you will just give us your peace that path us understanding. That you will give us your love and your joy. And as we face those triggers today, that we will have victory over those triggers. Because you have already battled those triggers for us. And you have already won that for us in Jesus' name. So I just pray for them. I just pray, Father God, for each and every one of us today. Give us a good day. Give us a blessed day. Father, that we will not know our triggers. That we will not even... That, Father, that we will know that you are here in the midst of our struggles in Jesus' name. And, Father, we do pray also for, <clears throat> I do pray also, Father God, for, I am asking for Colleen and her family as they have so, so many financial needs right now. I just pray that you'll be with them, that you will just meet their need according to your will and your riches and glory today. That they may be able to stay in their home and have everything they need, their electricity, their heat, their water. Their, their, their food on their table, shoes on their feet, clothes on their backs. We just pray, Father God, also that you will just be with each and every... I just pray, Father God, that you will be with them today. And I pray, Father God, for each and every person praying this prayer with me today, that you will just meet each and every need according to your will and your riches and glory. I do pray for Big Clip's friend Zach today. I am asking that as he is still recovering from his surgery, that you will just continue to give him a quick and speedy recovery, we pray in Jesus' name. Get him back on his feet and strengthen him, we pray. And Father, we do pray now that you will just be with Alice and her sister, that you will just give them a good day, that you will lead them, guide them, direct them, teach them and speak to them through your word today, in Jesus' name, that they may grow and learn in you. And Father, we do pray now that you will just be with us today, that you will just bless each and every one of us today. I am asking you for any prayer requests that I did not mention, but is being prayed for in this prayer, on the other side of the screen i just pray for them as well i am asking you to meet their needs according to your will and your riches and glory today and we just pray this in jesus mighty and holy name amen amen okay guys as you can see i do have bella rose today i just want to show you what she's wearing before i hand her to mom because i have a discussion to have we're going to have a little chat but not with bella you'll see as you can see by the title, it's Why I Like Dolls. It's Why Do I Like Dolls? Good question, right? I'll explain. Okay, guys. This says, this is a Carter's three month. It says, hello, beautiful. It's got a flower on it. And it's long-sleeved. With Now, guys, I'm going to say this. I don't have very many fall clothes. Um, so, I kind of improvise a little bit and just use things that I do have. So, this is a Carter's 3, 3 month, with wooden buttons here, and it says, hello, beautiful, and it came with these pants with the feet in them. I think this is really cute, guys. I really like this. And these are a Carter's 3 month, too. It came with it, anyway. So, anyway, guys, and it's got the ruffles here on the sleeves. I think she looks adorable. And she's got a white headband with a flower in her hair. Mom, would you like Bella? <laughs> okay. Mom's going to take Bella, and then we're going to have a discussion. And you're going to find out what's over here. What's you can see kind Bella? of what's over here. But you can see kind of. I don't even know Bella, so why don't you tell me? Okay, this is Bella Rose, Mom. You want to you wanna go to Grandma Bella? Okay, Bella's going to go to Grandma. So let me give Bella to Grandma. Here, let me just let me move this over, guys. Sorry, I want to move this like this. As you can see. Mom is already. I've got, got cold over here. She can play. Okay. 
Mom is all ready for Bella, guys. Let me give her Bella. Okay, Bella. We're going to go to Grandma. Let me give Grandma to Be Bella to Grandma, and then we're going to have a talk. We're going to have a little chat. Where's her shoes at? She doesn't need shoes. She's got to feed her in her, in her little pants there. So anyway, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, let me move this back over here, and then I'm going to show you what I have over here. Okay, guys, I have a trio here. Okay, I have a trio. I had, when I was a child, okay, I had, I, I was asked a question. Okay, first I'm going to tell you what this is about. I was asked a question the other day. Why do I like dolls? Hmm. Okay, that is a good question. And it's a question that, I, I, it's a very good question, guys. Um, I wasn't asking the comments or anything. It was somebody I was talking to. And, you know, it was just, why do you like dolls so much? And, you know, that's a question. Have we ever actually stopped and asked ourselves, why do we like our dolls? You know, was there something when we were a child that made us like our dolls? I know for me personally, that's all I really played with was my dolls. Um, my dolls were were very important to me. Um, my dolls were important to me. Now, it, now I do have a five year old inside my head, and we all know Mabel loves her dolls because actually, Mabel, when we watched that first doll video, when I watched my very very first redrawn redrawn video, Mabel said she wanted to play with a doll too. So. And I had always thought, even as an adult, I've always been drawn to dolls. Um, of course, I always thought I was too old. But you are never, never, ever too old to play with dolls. I am going to say that you are never too old to play with dolls. Yay, now, some people give us like a dolls million bucks. <laughs> because of the artwork. I'm some kidding. people like the reborns because of the artwork. Some of us have a different reason for liking the dolls, and. I know I never looked at the artwork as a child, okay? I'm going to go back to when I was a child, okay? I never really had, I, I just, you know, they were like my playmates, okay? I didn't have a whole lot of friends. I mean, I had friends, but um, my main, my main playmates were my dolls. They were the, they were the ones that I, my, whether they were my Barbies my strawberry shortcake, my Raggedy Ann, my Holly Hobby, or my Cabbage Patch. And I had three Cabbage Patch as a child. So actually to help me do this discussion, I have three Cabbage Patch out today, guys. Um, okay, I have my three Cabbage Patch out because of the fact that, okay, here it goes. This one looks like my Emelina Eileen. Now, she is not my Emelina Eileen, but she looks like Emelina Eileen. Um, she's got the hair like Emelina had. My very first Cabbage Patch was Emelina Eileen. Well, where was she at that you had her? You and know? so, and she, of course, was my very first Cabbage Patch. Now, Emelina Eileen did not have the tooth, but I think I may have found my other two original. She might not be my original, but she looks like her. Okay, guys, we got one. Now, here's the other one. The second one that I got as a child was Emma Gina Lee, and she actually looks, this one actually looks like Emma Gina Lee. And this is a 25th anniversary Cabbage Patch, and she actually looks like Emma Gina Eileen, or Emma Gina Lee. Sorry, guys, I'm like, Emma Gina Lee. Um, and so... And then, there's the one that actually is the one. Guys, not that this is the actual original one that I had. That one, I don't know where he is. But, my Alfred Morgan. This, this one actually looks like and could be Alfred Morgan. Right here. He had the hair, the pacifier, everything. 
I went looking for a picture. If I find it, I'll show it to you eventually. But I went looking for a picture of that, um, of a, of Alfred, because I have a picture of Alfred Morgan in me. But I went looking for it and I couldn't find it. I am assuming that is it a different photo album. So I'm going to have to look through the other photo albums and look <coughs> and see if I can find it for you guys. Um, but I know I have a picture of him somewhere. Um, but why? Why do I like dolls so much? Why did I like dolls? So okay, we're going to go back. Just like I said, we're going to go back to when I was a child first. Okay. Hi, for me, for some How of you, you who do don't you know yet, for some of you, this is your first time watching my video. You've never hey, seen. You're like, what is this crazy watch. woman with the doll? She uh -huh. is so campy. I know, She's Mom. She's beautiful. I know, Mom. What are these? What is this crazy woman doing with dolls? And talking about them. Well, because I have something called DID, Disassociation Identity Disorder. Now, I have three main alters inside my head. One is a five-year-old child, and she didn't know or she loves dolls. Great. Mabel, I will say this. I was gonna. I was actually gonna name this channel Mabel Loves Dolls. Mm. Literally, guys, that was actually one of the names for the channel that I came up with, like, before I started a couple years ago. Before I started in August of 2022, I went through a lot of names, and I'm like, what am I going to name it? And I settled on J&H's Nursery because I only had Hannah and Jeremiah at the time. I did have Mariah, but I didn't know what Mariah was or anything like that or, you know, anything. Um, I wasn't quite sure what, you know, what she was but or who she was. But... But anyway, I was going to name it Mabel Loves Dolls. So Mabel Loves Dolls. But Sally lived my life for me for five years. And she was an altar. I, literally, I was abused in a Christian school, just to let you all know, and that don't know yet. And I had a severe childhood trauma, which caused my, ma my brain to go into different parts at that point. At that point... My mama altar, Mama Bev, decided, she's the gatekeeper, and she decided that I was going back in my head and Sally was coming out. I have bits and pieces of my childhood, but not all of them. But I do remember playing with my dolls. I loved playing with dolls as a this child. This is my dog from mm -hmm. my husband, and he died. remember Sally did play with the dolls, but I had all kinds of accessories for my dolls. I had the diaper bag. I had the car seat. I had, I, I literally had the carrier and I have the carrier in there that I had. I got it at a thrift store a long time, a while back and I have a cabbage patch in it, but it was a cabbage patch carrier. I had the stroller. I had, because I would literally take my babies out and walk them, whether it be down the driveway or just down the street a little bit, I would do that. Um, I liked doing that. That was something that I enjoyed doing. Um, so why? Why even to this day do I enjoy my dolls? And I do. I still enjoy my Cabbage Patch to this day. I still enjoy my dolls to this day. And now I'm enjoying, you know, other kinds of dolls. You know, I don't know if I ever had a... I am thinking... I remember I had a doll. Now, this is something that I'm remembering. Okay? I had forgotten about this doll. But I had this big doll... That was bald. That had no hair. And she was huge. She wasn't huge, huge, but she was big. And she was the biggest baby I had. I'm thinking she was a Behringer. But I don't know. I, I don't know if she was any kind of doll or if it was just a doll that my mom saw that she liked. For me at Kmart or Ames or... Um, we had a store called Ames. We had a store called Hills. Another store, but I can't remember what it was called. Anyway, Murphy's. That's it. Murphy's. Um, I think it was called Murphy's. Anyway, whether it was just a doll that she saw at Toys R Us or something like that got me. But um, I really liked that doll. And I don't know what it was, but I am remembering See, my dolls now are bringing back childhood memories to me. Hannah in particular does that. Now, Hannah will be out tomorrow. 
Um, Hannah is my therapy baby, for those of you who don't know. Um, I am going to start a series on my dolls where each doll gives me something. We were talking about this, and so I'm going to start a series where I'm going to introduce you new, all of you that are new to my channel, and reintroduce some of you to some of the babies you haven't seen in a while, but, and tell you what each of those babies gives to me. What each of those babies mean to me, how I got them, and what they mean. I'm just going to introduce them and what they mean. So, anyway, guys, that I'll do in like a, because I have like 13, I think. And each one has a different meaning for me. Each one does something for me. But as far as why I like dolls, let's get back to that discussion. I know I'm going off on whatever trails, aren't I? Let's get back to this discussion now. Why do I like dolls? I like dolls because when I was a kid and I was going through a hard time, well, first of all, they were my playmates. I really saw them as my playmates. I still do. Where I still do because from? I love to play with my dolls. Guys, I still love to play with my dolls. And you are never too old to play with dolls. But anyway, I'm just saying. But, you know, everybody has something that brought them joy in their childhood. And mine were my dolls. And as an adult, I just wanted to pour it over as an adult. I think Mabel, Mabel being inside my head. Mabel being an altar. Mabel being five. She still loves to play with dolls. And I'm sure Sally... Sally enjoys the dolls as well, but the dolls also give me something as an adult that, that I was a mother to my dolls. As I, as I told you, I had the stroller, I had a diaper bag, I even had diapers for my dolls. I had, you know, I would feed them, I would change them, even my cabbage patch, I would feed them. Sorry, I'm a genius. I would feed them, I would, I would just, I would, I would feed them, I would hug them, I would... I would do everything for them that a mother would do for her for her baby. And I loved taking care of my dolls like a mommy. And so this also gives me a sense of being a mommy because I've always wanted to be a mother. And through circumstances that were beyond my control, beyond our control, um, we could never have any children. And so... It just, it gives me a sense of being able to be a mom. I get to be a mommy and it fulfills that desire in me. But also, when I was a kid, they were comfort to me. I would come home from school and there was my comfort. You know, I could play with my dolls and, and escape from what was happening to me. My dolls are great escape for me even today. That at when everything's going on around me, they seem to be a great escape for me to be able to because everybody has a hobby. You know, some some people collect collect antique cars, you know, collect street rods and work on street rods and you know, or collect matchbox cars or, you know, antiques or, you know, they, they in order to, to bring them comfort, they go out and they work in their flower garden or, you know, they, they cook, they collect cookbooks or puzzles or whatever you collect. It's, you know, for me, it brings comfort. For me, my dolls bring comfort. I can go in, get one of my dolls out, begin to, and I do, I have a doll out every day. I have a doll out every day. Bella's the one that's out today, but, you know, and I had, I had Aubrey out yesterday, um, you know, and, you know, I'm going to try to take my, I'm going to try to, like, get different dolls out for you guys, get different babies out for you guys every day this week. I'm going to try. Anyway, Hannah's got to come out tomorrow, though, guys. So, but anyway, um, because tomorrow's, um, my day for therapy so Anna's gonna be out for therapy but anyway my dolls are great therapy for me I like that but why else do I like my dolls you know I have to stop and you have to really think about that why do we like our dolls so much you know that was just a question that it, 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 this is just me starting to think about it guys 
he's starting to like psychoanalyze it in my head because I have a habit of having to analyze everything in my head and, you know, try to overthink things. And so, but my dolls were a great comfort to me as a child and they still are. Um, gives me my sense of motherhood. But they're also really great therapy for me. And these guys, great cuddlers. So anyway, guys, oh my. Okay, guys, hold on for just a second. So anyway, guys, that, that's just, you know, a little, little discussion. Maybe you want to do a discussion of why you like dolls. Um, you know, I can only give you a few little bits and pieces of what I, why I think I like my dolls. I know that they were great comfort for me. I know that I used to go home from school and I used to play with my dolls. I know particularly my Cabbage Patch were my favorite dolls to play with. Um, I had other dolls. Just like I said, I had my Strawberry Shortcake. I had my Holly Hobby. I had my Raggedy Ann. I had, of course, my Cabbage Patch. I had that one doll that I don't know what she was. If I ever see her, I will get her. But I doubt I'll ever see her because this was like the 80s, guys. This was this late 70s, early 80s that I'm talking about. So, um, you know, it just, my love for dolls came from somewhere. We know that. Could it be from Mabel? Could it be from, from Sally? I had that love before the trauma. Before I was traumatized, before I had DID. So I did not get DID until I was nine. Here's a little history lesson, guys. Until I was nine, that's when it happened. That's when the abuse started happening, when I was nine. So I didn't even, you know, I, I don't, I don't really, I remember playing with my dolls. I remember I, my dolls were like the only toys I really played with. I think dolls were the only toys I really had, except for like a little playhouse with little dishes and a little tea set and, you know, things like that. I was all girly girl, guys. All I gotta say is I was all girly girl. I would ride my bike, but... You know, and I would play kickball, softball. You know, I did play soccer in a little little soccer league. I did play, and I was in a soccer league when I was a kid for like a year, for like a season. Um, I did have, I did take ballet classes for like a little while. But my whole thing was my dolls. And how much I loved my dolls. As now, when I was a teenager, I collected porcelain dolls. I no longer collect porcelain dolls, guys, because I just, I don't, I don't have room for them, number one. I, I see a lot of cute porcelain dolls, but I, I, I do. I look at porcelain dolls. I saw, I saw two Ashton Drakes still brand new in the box that were adorable. They're like $4.99 at Goodwill the other day, but I didn't have room for them. So anyway, I just am really, really you know, I might be overthinking why I like the dolls, but that's why I like my dolls. It's because they were comfort to me. Because I played with them long before. I like being the mommy. That's it, guys. I just talked it through with you guys. That is it. I like being the mommy. And I get to be a mommy to my dolls, no matter who they are. Whether it's Emmalina Eileen, Emma Gina Lee, Alfred hey, Morgan, I'm a doll. Bella Rose. <laughs> I get to be, or Aubrey Joy, or Jonah Michael, or Solomon Tate, Noah Nathaniel. I could name them all. But anyway, guys, I'm the mommy when I'm with them. That's why I like dolls, is because I get to be a mommy. I get to do what I've always wanted to be as an adult, a mommy. But never could. So, oh. That's one going up. Let's see if it's anybody calling Yeah, it's you. probably going to go in the box. It's probably going to go in the box. Anyway, that is what, that is why I like dolls. So, that is my answer to that question, why I like dolls. It's because I get, now, because I get to be a mommy. I get to be a mommy. And you are never too old to play with dolls. Plus, they are really great therapy for me. 
My dolls are excellent therapy for me. They are, they help me in so many different ways. Just like I said, we're going to do a series on what each doll gives me and each doll does for me. But when I take them out with me, it helps me with the anxiety. Oh, guys. I think he's back on his way here. No. Anyway. But they give me, they give me the, they, they give me that sense of motherhood. But they also help me and reconnect me to my childhood. So, that's why I like dolls. Why do you guys like dolls? Feel free to do a video and answer why you like your dolls. What, what is it, the artwork? Is it something because they're fun? Because they are fun. I'm sorry. Dolls are still fun for me. But anyway, that is why I like dolls. So feel free to answer this in the video if you'd like or in the comments. Um, it would be much appreciated if you would answer this question for me because I've never had this question asked for me why I like dolls. But it's an interesting question and a good question. So anyway, guys, I want to thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us in the art today. Thanks for hanging in here and chatting with me today. And we hope that you all have a blessed and wonderful day. We thank that we, we hope that you enjoyed your visit. We enjoyed having you. We really appreciate you stopping by. And we hope that you have a blessed and wonderful day. And I will be right back. Okay, guys. The mailman just delivered this. Now, it's marked fragile. So I don't know what's in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this video upload first, okay? This is from one of you all and very special so i can't wait to see what's in this box but we are going to wait until this one uploads so this one gets its entire own video um so the happy mail video gets its own video um i don't know what it is even the mailman said it's marked fragile so we don't know what's in here so anyway I thought he was just going to put it down, but he can't fit it into the box because it was a big box. So, anyway, um, I will let you know who this is from when I do the video. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to get off of here. We're going to upload this video. And we're going to have lunch. Mom and I are going to have lunch. Once this video uploads, I'm going to plug in my... next year? Yeah, we'll do it. We're going to plug this, plug it in so that I have enough juice in here, enough battery life, so that... I can do this. Then I will come back this afternoon with this and I will open it for you guys. Okay. So I hope that you all have a blessed and wonderful day. I will see you in a little while. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ark. We really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out. I hope that you come back for my little happy mail opening here or box opening. I will open it is a box, so I will be opening up the box. So it is a box, but I don't know what's in here, guys. I don't. I have no clue what's in here. So I hope that you all have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us in the ark, and we will see you in a little while. Have a blessed and wonderful day, guys. We will see you in a little while. Bye.